This video I'm going to teach you how to create an Excel formula to get the worksheet name. So it's going to require two functions. The first function is the cell function using the file name. The file name is going to spit out the whole file name. And after we get that, then we'll use the brand new text after function that will go to the file name and pull out the last uh, worksheet name after the square bracket here. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to start off and just type equals cell, open parentheses. And when we get to this part right here, we're going to want to use the file name option here of any cell. Okay, so just click file name tab and I can do just any I could just do you know a1 would be just fine all right so this is the file name and that is what we're trying to get to right there all the way to the side there the marketing section right there okay so when we have that And we're ready to generate that worksheet here. Um, okay, we'll have the next option is to actually use equals text after. So equal text after, open parentheses, reference the cell we just pulled from, comma, and then the delimiter is going to be the right square bracket. And that's all I'll need right there. And you can see that's pulling marketing. Okay, so if I come down to this worksheet here and change it, like make a capital M or as it's a dynamic function here. So pretty darn cool, right? So to put that all together in one string, we can just do equals cell, file name, comma A1. And then of that, we'll put in, so that's that. Then I'll come up here and just kind of sneak in right here, the text after that we just did a moment ago. And I'll come all the way to the end here, type a comma, square bracket. That's going to be the function here. Copy it down. Beautiful.